Hello! Welcome to Educational Technology 2. Let's learn technology! And we are here to present to you the different types of computer, monitor, mouse, and printer. Hi, I'm Crystal Gilmoneva and today I will give you the 10 types of computer. So before that, I will discuss first what is computer. So computer, a computer is under the control of its of instructions stored in its own memory that can accept data or input, process data according to specified rules, produce information or output, and store information for future use. So the first computer is the all-powerful personal computer. So this is the personal computer or PC. It is um, defines a computer designed for general use by a single person. PCs were PCs were first known as microcomputers because they were complete computers but built on a smaller scale than the huge systems in use by most businesses. Next is the desktop. A desktop. It is a computer means one that sits at your desk as opposed to one that sits that sits on your lap called a laptop. It houses the physical hardware that makes a computer run and connects to input devices such as the monitor, keyboard, and mouse users interact with. So next is the number three, the laptop. Laptops are portable computers that integrate the display, keyboard, a pointing device or trackball, processor, memory, and hard drive all in a battery-operated package slightly larger than an average hardcore book. Number four of computer is the netbooks and tablets. So netbooks, these are the ultra-portable computers that are even smaller than the traditional laptops. However, netbooks internal components are less powerful than those in regular laptops. Number five, the handheld computers. These days, you can carry much more processing power right in your pants pocket. Handheld computers like smartphones and iPads are one of our era's iconic devices. Number six is the workstation computer. A workstation is simply a desktop computer that has a more powerful, powerful processor, additional memory, high-end graphics adapters, and enhanced capabilities for performing a special group of tasks, such as 3D graphics or game development. Number seven, the server. A computer that has been optimized to provide services Services to other computers over a network network service servers usually have powerful pro processors, lots of memory and large hard drives. Like regular PCs, servers have typical computer components. They have motherboards, RAM, video cards, power supplies, and ample network connections for any need. So the number eight, um, is the mainframe computer. So mainframes were huge computers that could fill an entire room or even a whole floor. As the size of computers has diminished while their, their power has increased, the term mainframe has fallen out of use in favor of enterprise servers. So the nine computer is the supercomputer. It crunches data for climate and earth system modeling through some super supercomputers are single computer systems most are composed of multiple high performance computers working in parallel as a single system so the last one is the wearable computer this is the latest trend in computing is wearable computers essentially common computer applications like email, database, multimedia, calendar, or scheduler are integrated into watches, cell phones, visors, and even clothing. So that is the 10 types of computers. 
So once again, hello everyone. I am Danica Einarte and I will discuss to you the types of monitor. But before that, let me explain what is monitor. Monitor is an electronic device with a screen used for display as of television, pictures, or computer information. So here are the types of monitor. The first one is the cathode ray tube or the CRT monitor. It is a technology used in early monitors. It uses a beam of electrons to create an image on the screen. The second one is the flat panel monitors. The flat panel monitors are the types of monitors are lightweight and take less space. They can show less power as compared to CRT monitors. These monitors are more effective as they do not provide harmful radiation and are more expensive than CRTs. Then the third one is the touch screen monitors. It enables users to interact with a computer by using a finger or stylus instead of using a mouse or a keyboard. And the fourth one is the LED monitors. LED monitors is a flat screen computer monitor which stands for light emitting diode display. It is a lightweight in terms of weight it, and has a short depth. As the source of light, it uses a panel of lens. The fifth one is the OLED or the OLED monitors. It is a flat screen computer monitor which stands for light emitting diode display. It is a lightweight in terms of weight and has a short depth. As the source of light, it uses a panel of lens. This one is the DLP monitors. DLP technology utilizes a digital micro mirror device, which is a tiny mirror house and a special kind of microchip. It also offers better quality features that can also be visible in a lit room normally. The seventh one is the TFT monitors. It is a type of LCD flat panel display which stands for a thin film transistor. In TFT monitors, all pixels are controlled with the help of 1 to 4 transistors. The high quality flat panels LCDs use these transistors. The eighth one is the plasma screen monitors. A plasma screen is a thin flat panel and capable of hanging on a wall like LCD and LED televisions. It is a brighter screen as compared to LCD displays and thinner than CRP displays. And that would be all, and thank you. Hello everyone, I am Sanchez Claire Quebec National. Today, I will discuss the different types of mouse. But first, first, I will discuss what is mouse. The mouse is a small, movable device that lets you control a range of things on a computer. Most types of mouse have two buttons, and some will have a wheel in between the buttons. So, the first type of mouse is the wired mouse. The wired mouse connects directly to your desktop or laptop, usually through a USB port, and transmits information via the cord. The second one is the wireless mouse. Mouse that connects to the computer without a cord. They can be used with a computer that has Bluetooth from the factory or via an adapter. The third one is the optical mouse. An optical mouse is a computer mouse which uses a light source, typically a light-emitting diode, and a light detector, such as an array of photodiodes, to detect movement relative to a surface. So the fourth one is a gaming mouse. Mouse designed for gamers. Gaming mouse have an adjustable sensitivity, which is configurable as the number of dots per inch, or the DPI. The fifth one is the magic mouse. It was first developed for use with Apple computers. It works much like a traditional PC mouse. The sixth one is the Bluetooth mouse, a mouse that connects to the computer without a cord. Seven, the laser mouse. A laser mouse is a type of optical mouse that uses laser light to detect mouse movement. A laser mouse is a type of computer pointing device that uses a laser beam rather than a ball to track the movement of the user's hand. The first mouse invented. Bill English built the first Engelbert mouse prototype, which used knife edge wheels and had space for only one button. 
Once again, good day. I am Cheryl Asaberon. Now, I will discuss the different types of printer. But before that, uh, I will explain the definition of printer. A, di a printer is a device that accepts, accepts text and graphic output from a computer and transfers the information to paper. The first type is the laser printer. Laser print speed is slightly fast. Laser printers have a print speed upwards of 25 to 50 pages per minute, going up to even 100 pages per minute. The next one is a digital printer. The image which has uh, the image which has to be printed is directly sent to the digital printer via a digital file file format such as TIFF, PDF, or any other formats. The next one is the wide format printers. Are designed for a large scale printers from 18 to 100 inches in wide. The fourth uh, types of printer is the impact printer. This printer uses an electro mechanical mechanism. An impact printer refers to all those printers whose printing heads touch the paper. The fifth one is the inkjet printer. An inkjet printer is a computer for peripheral that produces hard copies of a text, documents, or, or photo by our photo by spraying droplets of inks into paper. The sixth one, we have a thermal printer. A thermal printer is a printer that makes use of a heat in order to produce the image on paper. Next is the 3D printing. 3D printing or ad additive manufacturing is a process of making three-dimensional solid objects from a digital file. We have multifunctional printer. A multifunctional a multifunction printer, also known as MFP, is a piece of office equipment or machinery that serves the primary purpose of copying and printing documents. Over time, multifunction printers have been referred to as photocopiers, Copier, copiers, Xerox machines, and the host of other names. Next, we have a line printer. A line printer is an impact printer which makes use of a continuous speed of paper and prints one line of a text at a time. Although they have been, although they have been replaced in most instances by high-speed laser printer. They are still used in some businesses as they are low cost and have the ability to print one multi part forms. Next, we have a daisy wheel printing. It is an early type of impact printer invent invented in 1969 by David S. Lee at Diablao Data System. The printer uses a metal or plastic disc containing each of the letters, numbers, and other characters it supports. When printing, the when printing, the printer takes the disc to each character and using a hammer, using a hammer, strike each character into an ink ribbon to create a character on paper. We have also the lead printer. Lead printers are most similar to laser printer using a drum, toner, and fuser and fuser system to apply colored or black toner to paper. There is 1K difference between the two. Laser printers use a laser and mirrors to create a toner. Attractive stack creating toner. Attract, attracting static charge on the printing drum while the models use a strip of leads. Ah, next, we have a photo printer. A printer designed to print an extremely white photo paper that is coated to keep the ink from shimmering. Photo printers are available that supports all sizes of photo papers. However, some are 
dedicated only wallet size or 3x5 or 4x6 prints. We have also a printer drum. The drum is the heat and the soul of a laser printer. In order to print, you need to transfer toner to the paper. The drum makes sure that the toner hits on the right spots, creating your image on the papers. That is why it's sometimes called an imaging drum. We have also a la label printer. A label printer is a, is a computerized device that prints on self-adhesive label sheets and label materials. Label printers are typically designed to be connected to a computer that has the software necessary to make up the label print. And that's all the types of computer. And that would be all. Thank you for listening. We are hoping that you learned something from our presentation. Again, I am Crystal Bill Munava. I am Danica A. Narte. I am Sanchez Perica Beck National. And I am Cheryl S. Saberon. Bye!